This Shabbos is a special one. It's called Shabbos Nachamu. The Shabbos that follows Tisha B'Av is called the Shabbos of Comfort. And the question is, why is it called Nachamu, comfort, to console? Where's, where's the consoling? Where's the comfort? I don't understand. We went through Tisha B'Av. We fasted. We sat on the floor. We mourned. Nothing happened. We didn't get the temple yet. We didn't get God's presence in the world more yet. So what are we being comforted with? What are we what are we being comforted by? Why do we have a Shabbos where we're just like we were a week earlier? So I want to share with you a perspective. So a bunch of years ago, I was traveling with a colleague of mine, a business colleague. You know, when you work with someone in the office, you don't really know them. But when you travel with them, like after like you know a little bit of small talk and some like business talk, like you know you get to know people. So I'm traveling with this colleague. I don't know, a bunch of years ago, and we're driving far together, and we're in the car for a long time. So we start telling each other about, you know, our, our histories, our past. He has no idea my love for football. And he says, tells me, oh, by the way, so I went to this high school, I grew up in this community, and then I went to this college. It was a Division One football school, football college. I was like, you gotta be kidding me. You went to this college? Did you play football? He's like, yeah. I'm like, wait, you play D1? Division One college football? Like, how do I not know this? How did, how are you telling this to me now? He's like, I didn't know that you cared. I'm like, are you nuts? So I'm like, tell me everything. So we've got, I don't know, three hours of drive left, and he's telling me everything, and it's awesome. So we're talking, 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 and I go, okay, okay, okay. I want you to think about your four years in college football and give me your highest mo moment and your lowest moment. He sits back and he says, all right, my highest moment, I, big game, thousands of people, I caught the touchdown, please went crazy, amazing. I go, give me your lowest moment. So he thinks and he thinks and he thinks and he goes, I'll tell you my lowest moment. He said, the way it worked is that we played Saturday games. College football plays on Saturday. And Sunday we rested. And then Monday we came back. And what, the, what, what happened was we'd go back into the film room on Monday. Right? You'd go to a room and there would be this big screen and they'd play the film of the game. And your coach would be with you and he'd watch the film in front of your teammates each group would watch it separately and he would rip you to shreds to shreds why'd you make this mistake that mistake you have to, this formation you're off you don't tackle right how'd you miss this how'd you miss that you cost the game here you moved here you see everyone's going in this direction how are you going in this direction are you not paying attention look they're all moving here why are you moving here how do you get it this is how you, this is how you line up at the line this is how you tackle this is how you catch they're killing him and I hated it because I was embarrassed. I had like a, my, my teammates in next to me and he's reaming, not just me, everybody, but when it was my turn, I got reamed. And then when that was done and you're taking copious notes, everyone went out to the field and you had to go through all your stuff. So you had to practice 50 times all your mistakes and go through all the formations. And it was the most exhausting day, the Monday after, after the game. I hated that. I like playing. I hated that day. He goes, then I was a senior, and we played our last game and we lost, and I did not have a good game. And I went to bed thinking, I'm gonna get rocked on Monday. Monday came, we all went in. We went into the film room, and as we went into the film room, the coach said, you know, by the way, you, you, and you, you know, we love you. Thank you for a great season. Thank you for a great career. And you're always gonna have this for the rest of your life. Because I didn't even think about it. I, I said, wait, 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 coach. Like, what about the, why aren't you with me to shreds? I, I didn't have a great game. Like, what what are you doing? And he says, what do you mean? Like, season's over. You're a senior. Like, why am I shipping you to shreds? Like, I don't repeat you to shreds for nothing. Like, we only do it because we want you to get better. But you're not a player anymore. You're, you just graduated. Good luck. Like, you know, we love you. We're not going to beat you up for nothing. He goes, no, but how do I get better? He goes, you don't need to get better. You're not playing anymore. Like, no need, no need to beat you up. You're free. Good luck. And, like, he said, like, I, it, it disoriented me. 
And he's like, I remember, like, because the, the juniors were still in the room. They were going to work on them. And the three or four seniors that were in this uh, this group just got up, packed their stuff up, and, you know, walked out. And I remember walking down the hall, and I felt like, like I got hit with a ton of bricks. Like, it was over. I, I kind of wish they would read me out because it means that I'm still playing. And that hit me hard, he said. That was my lowest moment. You know, you get to Tisha B'Av, it you have to stop and ask yourself, are we nuts? Like, are we nuts? I mean, give a bunch of, like, regular, normal, healthy people, lots of them, with lives and jobs and careers and families thank god thank god thank god right and like we like transform into this like this people that like sits on the floor fasts hears about a temple that got destroyed like mourns like what are we doing if you think about it the story of Tisha B'Av is that there's godliness in this world that we don't have enough of. The world is supposed to look a certain way. The world is supposed to act a certain way. We're supposed to have a certain amount of spirituality in this world represented in a temple that ultimately got destroyed. That means we're sitting on the floor because we're still players. We're still in the game. There's still a chance. God is working us he's reaming us he's making us fast and mourn because he's saying the, you're still playing you're still in the game there's still a chance that i come into this world with you when you're alive and if you take this seriously and work it out and get better maybe we'll win a super bowl together that feeling this purpose to what I just did. This hope. There's a chance that I can see a time where the temple's rebuilt. There's a chance I can see a time where godliness is in this world. I just got reamed. I just went into the film room. I just did the replay of 2,000 years. But there's a reason for it. Comfort, nahama, to console, to give purpose to pain, is to give hope for the hopeless to take our thinking and to put light in darkness that's the that's what Nechama is so Shabbos comes and we look back and we say wait I went through Tisha for a reason because God wants a relationship with us <laughs> in the we're going to read it the, uh, uh, the Haftorah it's going to say Kol Kore Bamidbar Panu derech Hashem. There's a voice in the desert. Make way. Dabru alev Yerushalayim. Speak to the heart of the Jewish people. God's like, I want this. I want you. You just went through something for a reason. Take comfort in knowing that you're a player still. Better to be in the film room getting rocked as a player than getting the thumbs up as a graduate. That's our message. We got a job to do. Me and you, we have jobs to do in this world. And whatever we do for a living, it's not the only job that we have. We also have a job, which is to bring godliness to this world, to, to, to fix ourselves, to upgrade our relationship to each other, to, to God, to ourselves and to create a world in which his presence is felt more, to realize the, the real Nechama, that we still get a chance to play another game.